All right, change me something more uh, user friendly. Do you want to watch this? College shit goes nuts. Changed my mind. Yeah. When we told her race <laughs> culture was a myth, she went crazy. You're a hero? Who the f said that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're so fing proud of it. Have you ever been raised? Hey, everyone. This idiot. So, so this is going to be great. Is this? I, I've never actually watched. I'm in the kitchen. I've never actually watched the show. Is is change my mind in the series, right? So mm -hmm. he's down at the college and he's like, I'm, I'm, oh, my, my, my feelings are full of soy. Yeah, change he shows mind. up to a college and he goes, guns, guns. I really like guns. Hey, you guys like guns? And then no one's worried about that. Yeah. And guns, they actually guns demand cool he, a gay. Yeah, they demand he stay around and keep going to schools. Yeah, they love that. Give me more. I want to. I want. I want my mind changed. <laughs> but yeah, he just goes and harasses students and then. Pays actors to act like they're triggered. Or that. How are you? My name is Daisy and I've been raped. So I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, so are you really going to sit on my campus and tell me that rape culture is a today? Yes. I don't feel like I need to change your mind because. Oh, dude, he's taking notes. Oh, now that guy has a girl power to do. <laughs> That guy is really funny. Can I just say thank you to that guy, by the way? For, he's he's going to give us feedback. Wait, where? The guy in the background taking notes. He's like, this yeah. is okay, but there's a few things you can do a little better. You're wrong. <laughs> I've not been raped. No, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a convincing argument. I I I'm very sorry. No. No, I think I think the Wait, I just realized what happened. I'm may I am stunned. <laughs> I, feel, I feel just like I'm listening to a riddle. Dude, I just realized. I was like, why is the audio different when she's talking versus when he's talking? And I just realized it's cuz they have her audio from her phone. Oh, that's so embarrassing. How'd they get that if it's real? Huh. No, I mean, that was nice of her to send that. Yeah, it was really nice of her to send Steven Crowder the audio after the fact. Or really I mean, nice of the editor. Yeah, or it's... She, she put it on audio. <laughs> yeah, she just posted the, the raw file, which is really nice. Um, with a clap sync and everything, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, isn't it weird that another feminazi walked up and slated? <laughs> yes. Why? Well, could we, would you like to sit down? I don't generally consider myself an idiot. Oh my god, dude, his voice. He sounds like fucking Chippendale. Was that him? I yeah. Thought, I thought a third child. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is I a... I don't necessarily consider myself an idiot. I assign myself homework every day. <laughs> Even though this is uploaded a week ago, it's a re-upload from like six years ago. Because they they're... Stephen Crowder's running mm -hmm. out of content, so he's just uploading his old shit. They're not telling anybody about it. He's not making music? Yes. No, it's Tim Pool, dude. Well. Why? Tell me why. Well, could we, would you like to sit down? I don't generally consider myself an idiot asshole, but. Did you hear that? No, I don't consider myself an asshole. I don't know that one. Wait, is he the meme? Yeah. All this time you're spreading the change my mind meme. That's Steven Crowder. Idiot. You love him. If you've ever posted <laughs> that, that's, he's one of your guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just for her sake, I'll play one on TV. This time I allowed her to assume that I know nothing so that she could teach me. Thank you. So that she could teach me. So he's hitting fucking like higher notes I've ever heard. He sounds like a cartoon. That's actually crazy. Yeah, he sounds like fucking Woody Woodpecker. I had a bunch of cameras outside. What's your name? Macy. Macy, nice to meet you, Macy. Nice to meet you. So you um just yelled this idiot is on campus. Uh, and, I did. Uh, so do, do you... First, I, I, I want to, you're obviously aware of what we've done. Wow, look how calm and collected he is about this. That makes him cool and actually the winner. Gordon, you still there? Yeah, I'm just observing. I'm mm -hmm. taking notes to send to that woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh, I'm, a, what I'm aware. My mind is. Um, yeah, rape culture. I guess we need to define, how do you define rape culture first? I define rape culture as a, an area, a general area where people think that they can take advantage of other people due to certain situations, which sometimes... Dude, if I'm sitting here and trying to explain rape culture to <laughs> yeah. this fucking gorilla, and he pulls this fucking merch mug and takes a big sip, 
I am slapping him in the fucking face with the fucking... Like, I'm slapping that shit out of his hand. Even if I'm an actor from Craigslist, yeah. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, you're, you're uh, condescending to me, pretending like you want to have a conversation, and you're going to take this fucking ugly-ass fucking stupid camper mug and sip out of it like a pussy. Also, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Look at this fucking dirt bag. This, this is one of his bodyguards in disguise, for fucking sure. Oh, of course, man. I mean, that's the thing, it's like, Stephen Crowder is the kind of guy to effectively just build a set. Like, everyone's hired to be there. Everybody yeah. that G is gets involved is hired to be there. But he's still so much of a pussy, he needs a guard. Yeah. In case somebody Include, on his set like... gets so annoyed with his bullshit rhetoric that they, you know, say something mean and he shits himself. <laughs> places like college campuses where there's a big congregate of people drinking and they're not sure where the level of consent is. Okay, so would it be fair to characterize uh, rape culture as something, certainly as it's been, uh, uh, I guess, sort of described in academic circles, the idea... Another bodyguard. Why does he sound nervous, by the way? He is. He's always had this. I mean, I mean I'm sure, like... I have, like, when I first started basically ever being on my phone, I'm sure you have in the past, yeah. where it's, like, it's the experience that most people have when they get up on stage for, for like in, like, a meeting or school or whatever, where just the adrenaline that's going through your body naturally make your, makes your voice quiver and stuff. Yeah. I it, That gets trained out of you through exposure, but it, it can stick around for a while. The man has only done this for a decade. Yeah, and before that, like, it was a, voice, a child voice actor. And he's still that way now. Yep. Like, as soon as you take him away from his desk and you put him outside, he's just like, well... Uh, so, so why do you think culture? that rape culture is a myth? Because yeah. it's currently... <laughs> <laughs> Granted, this, this was like 2013 or some shit, so... He's the best. But he's still like this. Oh, yeah. He still looks like shit. Yeah. Well, this is why he, he doesn't like do these Drake. anymore. He doesn't do this show anymore. This is, yeah, this is a, like a re-upload from like 2013. You ran out of awesome topics. <laughs> I think he's a too much. I think like that voice quiver and shit was like, he's a pussy. He doesn't want to go anymore. Yeah. It's scary. It's very scary. Even though these are like some of his, this is like what put him on the mat. Like he, you like the, he would get crazy views if he did it again. I mean, yeah, well, this and after. You should look up what Caitlin Bennett's doing now. Societal or patriarchal Wait, society. Wait, really? Where... Yeah. Also, what the fuck is his sweater? Walther? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? That's the name of his. Is the name of a German pistol? <laughs> a That's Nazi Mauser. pistol? <laughs> no, dude, I think there's a, a. Oh, the Walther PPK? Is that the British? I don't fucking know. Same shit. Same thing. It's Walther. Oh, yeah, it is a British firearm company. Or German firearm company. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They would have made Nazi guns. They've been making uh -oh. guns since 1886. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so long. <laughs> yeah. Which Doesn't mean... it feel like there needs to be a tech disruption of guns? They definitely made Nazi guns, and he's wearing their fucking merch. Oh, for that's, sure. That's dude. kind of insane. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Of course it is actually the gun merch, because he's a little gun pervert. I forgot. Yeah, yeah exactly. Gun no, he's a little Nathan Drake uh, gun pervert. <laughs> this is before he bought it. Boy. In the country where you can't get the guns. <laughs> Yeah. Steven Crowder would be in prison if he lived in Germany. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he would speech. be in prison for being annoying. <laughs> be a male that rapes a female. Like, it sure. can be either way, but... I didn't say that. Okay, well, what's your question? Well, that's the idea of rape culture. The idea that rape is... And you sort of echo that. I want to make sure we both agree to start with. That it's a society or a culture at large where rape is either promoted, encouraged, or tolerated. Yeah. Oh, a Joan raid. Joan Adams with the Joan raid. What's up, guys? How is the stream? Well, this one. Yeah, how is this stream to the jo oh, right, to the man. Joan Raiders, the Joners in chat? I was a little distressed by some of the content earlier, but um, mm -hmm. I, I I've managed to move past that now. Oh, good. <laughs> also, uh, someone made a great point. This girl literally ended him by just asking, "What's your question?" <laughs> yeah and he's just been like shitting himself this whole time bro that's the matt walsh kryptonite too right what like what do you because it's a kid going what 
what that's their whole mm -hmm. like thesis right it's just going huh what until you just tire yourself out and walk away it's yeah like, cowardly socialist runs away from me <laughs> holding onto their ankles <laughs> that's so true okay yeah, check I, I in with this agree. damn chat can you tell me why statistically it doesn't grow out we uh we charge rapists we put them in jail mm, yeah every 100 time. time yeah 100 percent hit rate <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> He's a baby. <laughs> He's a baby, man. I, it's so funny to me how much libertarian... I don't know what about libertarianism is still, like, not liking big government. They seem so psyched about government. Right? And, like... And institutional law and crime and punishment. They also... Like, a, a straight up, like... Uh, uh, dictatorial crime and punishment system. Well, and that's the thing. It's not like it's not just that they're super into government, but they think it works perfectly. <laughs> like hundred percent of the time, yeah. Like only in this example, though, because other like the rest of the time, it's like the borders, you know, failing. Are we're not doing <laughs> enough war? You know, the drugs are running rampant, crimes running rampant, but rape though, right now, every time we put them in jail. Like, it's just, it's just, like, the world is whatever they want it to be in the moment. Well, yeah, and it's always kind of, like, 60%. Uh, they are 60% on the back foot. That's the whole thing. They have to yeah. be oppressed the exact amount that is interesting for their little personal adventure and narrative, right. but not so much that they don't get to, like, um, Go post. on TV constantly, yeah. They, they had to give up posting. <laughs> Dude, uh, um, my editor sent me a VOD recently, even doing like chop ups of the VOD, having an old bit of chop ups. And I completely forgot we watched that like um, Daily Wire Razor there. commercial. Oh, yeah. The Jeremy's Razor. Embarrassing. Commercial. Yeah. Right? Kring. 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 I hope that becomes I was a video. Kringing. Be epic. Very rare I crime, should do, I and should uh, I don't believe that we live in a culture that supports or condones rape or tolerates it. But what about the fact that so many rapists don't go to jail? I know plenty of people. I've reported my rapist. He didn't go to jail. Um, many of my friends have reported their rapist. Well, then you should uh, file a petition at your local police office to get them to well, investigate then, it. Like that's exactly what he's going to say. You should you should track him down using <laughs> uh, uh, tracking skills, like in uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> And then um, uh, perform a citizen's arrest and use Krav Maga to bring him to justice. <laughs> it's just like there's just so many holes in everything he's saying all the time. It, literally, his answer is always skill issue. Yeah, it is. He's literally about to say, like, <laughs> there's something that you didn't do. <laughs> they didn't go to jail. Like, I actually literally don't know of people my age, anybody who's gone to jail who has been apprehended. There are boys on this campus. I've been sexually assaulted by a boy on this campus who walks around and goes to class every single day. So, how how sure is that really clear? First off, apprehension. Well, there's anecdotal. Right, and then there's the, the empirical data. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to get away from me speaking um, for... I want to get away from your experience as a woman. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're being boring, so I'm just going <laughs> Yeah, let the men talk about data really quick, because data matters. I no, like, I hear right. you, but, like, kind of yawn at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, empirical data. Mm -hmm. Like, what, When do you know... How long ago did he step away from this stuff? Was there a catalyst, or he just... I feel, like, it was, I feel like he did them less and less over the years, and then I think he used COVID as an excuse to just stop doing them mm. altogether. Yeah, data can't factor in unreported crimes, or grooming, for that matter. All men are people who yeah. are sort of right-leaning, and you speaking for all women or sort of advocates of a more progressive worldview. Well, I'm going to do just your phone. I think someone's calling, and it, it, it slipped down there. I want to make sure you get a good shot. Thank you, thank you. Um, you, you went from, from rape... It's interesting to me to sexual assault. Yes. Ah, that's a really snaky little move he's about to do. First off, I think again, it's very important that we define the terms. There's a delineation between the two. Uh huh. Would we agree? Mm. Yeah, but would you say that like sexual assault isn't like a part of rape? No, sexual assault is a part of rape, but someone can commit some kind of sexual assault or sexual harassment and it not be rape. And we need to protect those men from you know over punishment. <laughs> it's you have to understand. Yeah. You're wrong. So I don't, I'm probably pretty sure you're going to your personal <laughs> camera. If, if you do, we, we can. But again, it goes back to the question, this idea that we support or we tolerate or we encourage rape or that it's occurring in, in, in uh, numbers that are out of the ordinary. <laughs> that are out of the ordinary. Steven's like, we're not, we're not superseding the rape quotas for the month. 
Yeah, what, what do you mean? What's what normal, the Steven? Fuck? How many digits? Yeah, what's a normal amount? Ordinary. You no, know, it's a natural <laughs> consequence of inflation. <laughs> the conversion rate is crazy. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He's like, this is a this is Biden's America. <laughs> Other crimes, you know, rapists are convicted at about the same rate as armed robbers, for example. Do we have an armed robber? <laughs> that's crazy. Nobody yeah, doesn't wow. report an armed robbery. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No one's coerced into an armed robbery. <laughs> Nobody's nobody gets armed robbery by their co-worker. <laughs> or their dad. <laughs> that's fucking ludicrous. Uh... I mean I I, I'm never sure whether to call out his brain or his ethics. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, how genuine always, is it? Yeah, it's always both, I feel like. His brain doesn't work. I mean, no, his brain doesn't, doesn't work and his remember. ethics are non-existent. And his hairline's, like, Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He has a crazy hairline. <laughs> that's like a Hot Wheels track. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Mario Kart map. <laughs> <laughs> this rainbow road. <laughs> Robbery culture. Uh, rape is a horrible, terrible, heinous crime. Oh, I'm glad we've established that. Oh, thanks, thanks Steve. Stephen. That was really. <laughs> we needed you to say. It. We needed your uh, she, guidance there. She fist bumps him. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, and about. I'm. I'm not saying that like rape culture. Like I'm honestly not talking. Like how con? He would never say that to a man. That's so condescending. That's we agree that rape is just a normal, or a, is a, a fucking Freudian slip in character. <laughs> we agree that rape is a terrible thing. <laughs> uh, normal, to, I mean, um. <laughs> yeah, that's how he would fucking talking say Talking about it. him. But I mean, that, his, whole, his whole bag is like, yeah, no, it is a normal thing. That's he literally going to just happen, said so it, yeah. Just, he literally just As long it. as we have a 61% hit rate on taking <laughs> care of it, then the quote is met. Yeah. All, and I don't, I don't know think happens we should look, the, doesn't happen in the normal countries. Look at it as empirical data because, first of all, like, I don't know if you know how, like, uniform crime reports work, but that's, like, certain things that police don't report. So sometimes those. Uh -oh. no I've been stick bugged. We're about to be stick bugged, I see in the chat. It already happened. We're being stick bugged ow. in the moment. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? Yeah, I just got stick bugged. <laughs> <laughs> it kills. <laughs> it kills. Numbers are skewed, first of all. And Wait, like, sorry, what do you mean uniform crime? Do you know like uniform crime reports and how that works? You mean it's several like, times going into one report? No, it's like where the police <laughs> report to the FBI specific crimes that occur, but mm -hmm. they are like, sometimes they don't report everything. And that's how like, the that's the problem. No. Do the police don't report everything? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we live in a world where the cops don't do a very good job, and they want to keep their numbers down. But those are the rules. Yeah. I so don't they think, wouldn't break the rules. I don't think the cops would do anything wrong. There's no it's so wild that his take was, yeah, his take was literally like, um, <laughs> by the way, I love that he responded to her very validly being like, um, hey, here's an informed take referencing a a, a statistic like, a statistic and formal term uniform right yeah. so she's she says using terminology and then he has the same approach i would if somebody starts talking about an anime i told them i'd watch <laughs> oh, oh uh, and i'm yeah. just like he's just like and then yeah, and then you know like aaron and i'm like and he goes to the islands and no no he leaves yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. oh yeah, yeah yeah when he goes yeah, to, yeah when yeah, he doesn't yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just oh yeah, yeah no, it's a different he, time when he goes and then when <laughs> steven dies when he dies no when he lives <laughs> yeah that's right, what i was that, thinking as well i was just thinking of another character <laughs> It's funny because he literally just went off the word uniform. He was like, like yeah, because well, when they wear a uniform, like, <laughs> like oh yeah, when they the uniform that they wear, <laughs> the old no outfit. I just wanted to say that I think that both you and Jordan are wonderful Thanks, content Tal creators, and hope you have Thank a you, great stream. Tolberon, 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 you son of a gun, <laughs> J R R Tolberon. But okay, um, yeah, I fucking hate this stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whose grandpa is sitting on the curb behind them? Fucking sound guy is fucking <laughs> the boom guy who was taking a nap. <laughs> sometimes they just don't because sometimes it looks better on their area, and so yeah, like he's he doesn't understand like human motivation for things. He's like, well, why would they? They don't have. 
like why would police do something bad even though they have motivation to do it they'll get in trouble <laughs> ethan yeah it's against the rules that's true i forgot it's against the rules. i forgot you'll get in trouble yeah someone would say something statistics can't always tell you exactly what happens and then there's other forms of like methods like the ncvs they um interview victims like one-on-one -on -one, or there's like self-reporting and that shows that we're missing a lot of data that the police just haven't reported to the fbi so i don't think you can base all of this on empirical data when well, I, I think we can, but what would you base <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah. Whoa. That, oh, that hit me like a fucking... I was really wondering what he would say. And he's Damn. just like, well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> what the? You're wrong. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> On because you obviously you referred to me as an idiot that rape culture is a yeah. myth. Yeah, I'm basing well, it on I mean, data. I saw you in your male privilege too, so. Do it's... you think I'm an idiot on that one? So the de so the statistics about rape are those are fine, and you can trust those, and you have to trust those, but you can't trust the studies done on the discrepancy of actual reportings of rape. That's not real. <laughs> Fucking dog to numbers over here. Like studies are either Mr. real or they're Rules. not. <laughs> This guy's obsessed with numbers. <laughs> yeah, I do. Th I do. And like my my brother and I were actually just talking about you yesterday. Like, yeah, yeah you're really oh. something. I'm, I'm, I don't know how you ended up back on this campus because you turned into a meme. Do you know that you're a meme? Yeah. On Twitter? Yeah. So I don't know how you have the audacity to like come back on our campus and say that rape culture is a myth because that's personally offensive to a lot of people I know, actually, and so, yeah. especially, like, the audacity to come here. I'm still trying to understand how she went nuts. Look at her. She's going nuts. She's going sick on mode. Change my mind. And, <laughs> and really. To come here and speak the truth. I, I have the audacity. And speak the, the truth? truth? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah. You know what? How about somebody rapes you, and then you come and tell me that rape culture is a myth? <laughs> this is where he gets to flex his uh, mu musical theater degree. Where he's like, and now I'm playing the calm, cool, and collected character. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like oh, I'm the rational one. Yeah, he's like, well, I just, uh, I would be really upset if someone raped me. <laughs> That's what he's <laughs> That has nothing to do with what we're what? talking about. What? How does that have nothing to do with but what I we're talking about? And I... Dude, did you, did you see that? Fucking <laughs> Tommy Normal student over here. <laughs> 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 Gregory No Taser. <laughs> like he's, he might as well be wearing like a hat with a propeller on it. And, like <laughs> you have like a giant lollipop. Like he looks like Hitman. <laughs> he's like, like a comically, he's in yeah, like a comically large in dead where he has a blade. <laughs> also, Just like... a rifle. A rifle stuffed <laughs> into his pants. Like, hit the pedophile button. <laughs> <laughs> that fanny pack has C4 in it. <laughs> like, look at, but look, like, he, in the last few seconds, he, like, looks down like he's about to draw a revolver from his side <laughs> like a cowboy. Draw. High noon. Rape culture is a myth. That has nothing to do with what we're talking look about. Look at him, he's How posting up. that have nothing to do with what we're talking about? <laughs> and then he, like, lowers his hat like a fucking samurai. So He's he's ready. You're told yeah, you dude, he does that thing where they like he puts his head on his sword, <laughs> slightly yeah. puts it away, and then she just falls down. <laughs> 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 I wanna see me do it again. Ada is bullshit because of I, UCR I don't, crime reports. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> this guy's a master. I love, I love how he's like, I was just trying to have a conversation and she's like, okay, here's the conversation. She's like, no. <laughs> like, you're not here to have a conversation <laughs> then if you don't agree with facts. <laughs> yelling at me. <laughs> You didn't even know what a UCR crime report is. Do you even know what NCVS stands for? You tell me that. Okay, so oh, she should press him on that. She should fucking yeah, press, press, like, press. No, you have to tell me what it stands for. And like put it like he'd have to make something up. Hmm, I'd love to see what he thinks the N is. <laughs> okay, also chat. Very curious. <laughs> chat, this is a really important lesson. 
this is the difference uh, two people this is uh, this is the difference between being media trained and being not media trained you can see steven crowder like all the gears in his head are turning and scraping together to keep his composure because he's staying in character as like this calm guy none of this is real for him but it's real for her and that's why these videos pop off in conservative circles is because he's like actively antagonizing her while pretending he's not and it makes you look really cool it literally makes you look like the fucking samurai tipping his hat and fucking cutting you in half you're like oh fucking cool guy but it's just because he has media training He's and, and I mean, it's exactly what we were saying. Like, it's weird that his voice quivers because he's done this for so many yeah, years. Yeah, that's but, like, true. Of course, right now, by virtue of being on camera, they could be talking about like, is a hot dog a sandwich or whatever. Right. Her, the adrenaline coursing through her body, regardless of what they're talking about, is going to. It's so much. It's like so much to engage with. Yeah. So to talk about something that's genuinely like emotionally grating like and you're being patronized yeah. and you're being like ignored at best when you, you present your ideas yeah as and also she came in like pretty accommodating was, but right. then of course you're gonna get forceful as you go like hey i'm so i put a bunch of data and considered thoughts that i've been developing over my own personal journey mm -hmm. and it's like no gay yeah like i what? Shut up. <laughs> wrong i disagree yeah I told people to change my mind, and now they're debating me. This is fucked up. This is L plus... His entire method is L plus ratio. That's just all he does. Yeah, that's what all these fucking dipshit, like, C-tier conservatives do. Two statistics. Okay. Well, how, many, how often do you believe rape occurs? Because again, rape... Also, Steven, you have to put the microphone in your own fucking face. <laughs> can barely hear him, and she's super loud. You should just hold it straight up, you idiot. <laughs> you stupid old man. <laughs> Often. Agree. See, often? I cannot tell you the exact number because as I've, I've repeated to you multiple times that like you see our crime reports are simply not accurate and okay. there are other like methods and it is proven that those are not accurate. We do not have all of those numbers. We don't have all of those numbers. We have quite a bit. But you don't know that. You don't even, <laughs> you don't know the discrepancy because you didn't. Bit. Yeah, you do. You don't believe the discrepancy exists, so how can you be like, okay, they, it exists, but it's not that big of a discrepancy? You didn't even know it was a thing. And there's that, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a bit. A bit. Yeah, it's you know, we have enough. Again, he has no, a rape quota. On. We have from the FBI. We have them from the DOJ. Yeah, but do you know where the FBI the, gets those? The those is She's trying wait, to wait, wait, wait. Yeah, oh my god. Is he just naming organizations? Yeah, the, you know, we get crime reports from the FBI, the DOJ, uh, oh, okay. the DMV, the <laughs> CIA. RBG. UCR <laughs> reports that you yeah, didn't yeah. know existed. No, not entirely. Not entirely. Let the record show he didn't know what a UCR crime report is. I learned that Let's in go. my intro to criminal justice so how class. Often do you think rape yeah, because he's a musical theater major, not a fucking law student like Ben Shapiro. But Ben Shapiro doesn't even know that either. Because the question's going, this chick's going nuts. She's going nuts. I don't, I truly, I couldn't tell you. Okay. For for you to say that it's idiotic to not believe that there's a rape culture. Again, when we both agree You don't on, think there's rape culture. You just don't believe that. I think there's an interrupting culture right now. Oh, there's a fucking semantic argument. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, call it, I, 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 what do you want, Steven? Bad culture? What is the word that you would like be more comfortable with? I think it's just because like, it has the word culture in it, and he doesn't understand. Yeah, what yeah, for sure. In context, because they haven't even agreed on what rape culture is, because like old, that's yeah. and that's the conservative when this was like a thing that people were like talking about on the internet because people were annoying in GamerGate times. I mean, they still are because it's whatever. <laughs> like, but then they got over it. Yeah, then they <laughs> now it's fine. But um, the rape culture shit was like. No one could agree on what it even meant, so it's easy to refute something that doesn't fucking have a definition. Anyway, that's that was annoying. <laughs> um, I apologize. I have to go soon because I have to let um the dog. I gotta let the dog out. Did you see Nick today? How was he? Was he was he alive and well? Uh, I hung out with Nick yesterday. We went to uh, Target, and he used because uh, my I'm still using my UK phone, so I couldn't get good RX. So he saved me like three hundred dollars. Fun. Oh my god, that's great. I'm really something like the guy. Mid. Mid like. <laughs> Wait, what do you uh, mean? You're actually going around just... in like a little bit. Wait, did you just need an American phone number? 
Um, to download the the App Store is different regionally, and oh. for a long time I kept my US one. I still have Venmo because I never deleted it. You just have to keep it, no yeah. matter what. But it's a bunch of bullshit like that. Mm. <laughs> this is your, your viewers will love this. <laughs> it's <just the> details <laughs> of like iCloud internationally, but um, no, he's actually rolling around. He wait, he just told me he loves this video. Oh, oh. that's crazy. That's that's not good. Um, I had a feeling. Interesting. When are you coming down? When are you coming to town? Yeah, mama. Um, what? <laughs> what? No, what did you just say to me? No, I just didn't. It was a joke. You don't need to remember it. It was insane. We want to do... Denims and I are planning a get-together ah, right. for Friendsgiving um, in like two weeks. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, uh, not on Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> I don't want to say exactly the date because I'm worried someone will. Well, okay, but at least say the address. Okay, I will say the time day. But we are trying to find some <laughs> a really cool place to rent for an Airbnb so everyone can come to one place. Maybe okay, like, so I think yeah, I check like out one. Airbnb LA. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just go through what looks Ethan-y to you. Right, go knock on every door. Um. But no. The spa goat tea too slippery for the little meatball. Tea. She fall a right okay. off. Don't worry, child. We'll scream it. And nephew. <laughs> but yeah, we're trying to find a, a good place so everyone can come. And then everyone's... We're going to like give a list of like all the food that we've kind of like brainstormed to have. And be like, okay, oh, nice. everybody pick something to make and we'll bring it. Oh, um, uh, yes. Can I make something I've never made? Yeah. Or is that like a risk? No, do it. Dude, if we end up having to get, like, fucking Chinese food because fucking nobody made anything, whatever. That's awesome. I'll make Chinese food. Okay, good idea. I'll make the entire menu of a Chinese restaurant in just in case. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Um, right. Much love, dude. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I hope man. That, take um, care. I hope that you are able to have your mind changed by Stephen Crowder's good points. Like, shut up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Ah, you're scaring me. <laughs> Okay, so right, bye. Thanks, thanks for having me. Bye, 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 Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Jordan Adika. Jordan Adika, as he's called around the world. All right, let's continue. Can you define that for me? You keep interrupting me. I said, can you define that for me? Yeah, you keep interrupting me. Okay, so okay, interrupt. go. You'll, you'll keep interrupting me when I'm trying to dodge your questions. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Off, go off. Yeah, so let me finish here. So for me to be so idiotic as to not believe uh -huh. in rape culture, which we both agreed is the idea that rape is perpetuated, encouraged, or tolerated in a society, you would need to present some kind of data, but, anything. I know you think empirical data is bullshit. That's fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so insane. No hey, Gabster Thomas, thank you for dr gift drifting Dorge in a sub. That was rough. Okay. Um. Oh, Stephen Crowder is literally about to be like, um, please... Show me data for a poll where everyone says if they like or don't like rape. And if everyone says that they like rape, then there's a rape culture. Like, that's what that's the proof that he needs. You would need to present some kind of data, anything. I know you think empirical data is bullshit. That's fine. Uh -huh. Some kind of evidence to support your premise that rape is tolerated or encouraged in the United States. Yeah, I mean, it is tolerated. I mean, have you seen, like, Brett Kavanaugh? Are you familiar with that situation right now? Where they raked a poor man over the coals. No, like, Not at all. Enlighten me. You don't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. This man doesn't. No shot. No, he's just pretending so she explains it wrong. I don't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. No, and I... he's going to sit here and tell me that rape culture is a myth. He is currently, um, Donald Trump is trying to appoint him to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you don't know that shows me that you don't actually really know what's going on in society because yeah. that is a really big deal and that is... The also, fucking Clarence Thomas. He was already a Supreme Court justice. He's been one forever. The Supreme Court so is the let's highest level. Let's assume level. that I don't know who he is. So okay. explain it to me. Why is that so, important to improving the idea of rape culture? So he is currently... Um, he is under fire for some sexual assault allegations and that he, like, supposedly, we're not 100% sure, but he allegedly raped women when he was younger. And um, he, in front of a trial, was saying that, like, 
they found this his yearbook. This is in front of a trial. This is in front of, this is not a trial, oh, but okay. it's in front of um, Supreme, not Supreme Court Justice, it's in front of Senate, senators, okay. important people. And as they ask him these questions, um, they pull out his yearbook and they find terms like devil's triangle, which mm -hmm. if you don't know what that means, that's no um, idea. two males and a female, and um, that's two males ganging up on a female. It oh my fucking God. It is, Sounds like, terrible. it refers to rape. And so he's out here, and that's who they're trying to appoint. And this man is, is Brett Kavanaugh? Brett Kavanaugh, mm -hmm. sir. And so the fact that, like, somebody this important that is going to be on the Supreme Court, which I'm, at this point, I'm unsure of, like, what you know about the government, but yeah. that <laughs> is the highest position that you can acquire. And so a supre it's a Supreme Court justice. A Supreme Court justice. It's, it's high up there. It's Like, yeah, it's, like, the most powerful position in the country. <laughs> It's high up there, buddy. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. So um, the fact that a rapist is probably going to still be appointed. Is he a rapist? Because you said um, he's under FBI um, investigation, but it's a biased one because it is from the Republican side, which they want him appointed. So. So uh, I'd like to get back to Brett Kavanaugh because it seems like. A so I'd like to change the subject because I don't know what I'm doing. It's a big case. But again, that would be an anecdotal, uh, an anecdotal story. Again, how does that prove the statistic that rape is in? So we're getting back to statistics because he knows where she's going with this because obviously it sets an example, right? It sets an example for the normalization of that behavior. And there's not really a study that correlates that, but it's like a cultural thing. That's why it's rape culture, not rape facts. Encourage or committed at large in the United States and condone. You're telling me that like if somebody, if the... If the highest, mm -hmm. the highest, the Supreme Court, if we're going to appoint somebody who participates in a devil's triangle yeah. and refers to it as a devil's triangle, you're telling me that that's not the standard of what is good and what is right? So, can I answer your question? Yeah, you can answer. I need more time to think. Let me ask a stupid question. Sure. Can I question? So, if I'm to answer the question on Brett Kavanaugh and, and Dr. Christine Ford or any of the other allegations coming forward from Michael Abinetti... Uh, Oh, he's name dropping to be like, I know the case. Uh, who represents, actually, the other lady who accused him of gang rape as well. What a little weasel. He's such a fucking theater kid. He's like, this is my big moment. Um, that's separate again from the evidence. It's about one in 1,900 women are raped in the United States, according to the FBI. It's about that's crazy. It's way more than that. There's just no fucking way. About one, uh, one in a thousand for uh, college students. If you include all sexual assault, according to the. That's an insane disparity, by the way. That's separate again from the evidence. It's about one in 1,900 women. That's an insane disparity. One in 2,000 versus one in 1,000. Do you think it's because more, because college students are fucking taught that what happened to them is like now is important? Hmm. I'm going to rape the United States according to the FBI. It's about one, uh, one in 1,000 for uh, college students. If you include all sexual assault according to the Department of Justice or Bureau of Justice, it's about one in 52 of all sex. That includes, you know, playing grab ass. With Brett Kavanaugh, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned uh, a percentage. What evidence has been presented? Um, just oh my god, dude. And that's like part of the problem too. Also, how many convictions are there? She's like, well, he's like, one in 1900 women are raped. Okay, let's work with that statistic. How many convictions are there per rape case? Are those just rape reports? Or is that like actually Z, like getting justice for what happened? That's a statistic Steven Crowder probably doesn't have stuck in his ass. Also, yeah, what is grab ass? That's rape culture. That's such a blatant example of it. It's a bunch of... Place. What do you mean by place? Where did it like, happen? Where did it happen? I don't freaking know. I wasn't okay. at his high school. When? It Does was Crowder back when he was... know about Brock Turner? He will like to... He'll probably have some fucking crazy... Like, there was no evidence for Brock Turner either, so free my man. There's no evidence for Harvey Weinstein, so he shouldn't be in prison. But in high school, like, lower age... General. Yeah, okay. general. Who? It's these, um, if you're familiar with Ms. Ford, mm -hmm. she has come forward, and then um, I believe one or two other women have come forward and said this, but Ford is definitely the No, she brought forward forerunner. witnesses, all of whom could not corroborate her story somewhat. They outright refuted it. I mean, like, this... this this woman so again, is willing standard... to, she's actually willing to undergo intense FBI investigations. She has had no resistance to that, but 
he has actually denied over and over. He keeps saying he doesn't want it. And now they're giving him like a little special little inv yeah. FBI investigation. And I think this is something. The fact that someone with these allegations was even nominated in the first place shows that rape culture exists. We don't even need to talk about the details. It doesn't matter if he's guilty or not. The fact that someone with those allegations and someone knowingly, while he had those allegations, fucking nominated him to be in the Supreme Court shows that there's a rape culture. The fact that Clarice Thomas is still on the fucking Supreme Court is also an example of that. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to go heat up some risotto about it. Risotto. No, none of what you've said personally. just none of what you've just said is correct. Does the word hubris mean anything to you? <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's such a condescending really, bitch. Did you really think that I didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was? I really did it, honestly, at yeah. this point, like I'm unsure what you actually know. Right. <sighs> Bro, I don't know you. I don't fucking know you. How was I supposed to know? You come across really stupid. You look like a caveman. Yeah. The whole reason was I was I was hoping for you to sit down. And you see now, if you go back, every single thing I told you I didn't know. Because I wanted you to explain to me. You've explained nothing. You've presented no evidence or data. The only thing, the only time you've addressed evidence or data is saying that it's... He literally thinks he's fucking Saul Goodman in the courtroom with the big twist. Bullshit. Use your words and it doesn't matter. The amount of rapes matter. The conviction rates matter. What we yeah, do with they... rapists matters. And when you come out and you say we live in a rape culture and you compare Dr. Christine Ford's allegations, let's say we have no idea whether they're true or not. Zero evidence whatsoever from 35 years ago. You can't... Dude, do you know that you approve of all the fucking, like, you're literally being like, you're being insulting to real rape cases because it has no evidence. Like, that's a crazy thing to say. You can't run an investigation whether who, what, when, where, or why. We have none of it. To then use that as a springboard to say that we live in a rape culture, I think, is intellectually disingenuous. And I think it does a great disservice to people who have actually been the victim of a horrible crime. What a pussy, dude. You can't even own every kind of classic car. He doesn't have triples of Anova. Uh, I'm gonna slice his smug face right off his head. Yeah, I'm aware because I've been a victim to that crime, and as you say, like, like the crimes that he's saying, you're being insulting toward. Like, what do you know? You there's you think there's perfect evidence for every single one? No, that's not how real life works. You haven't, and you know, like. Like you said, you and didn't said, know what a uniform crime report is, and so maybe if you... I also said I didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was. So, I mean, maybe you do know what that is, so then... Oh my god, he can't even admit. He's not going to be like, I... he didn't say he knows. He's saying, well, well, I lied about something else. I could be lying about that. Why are you being coy? Can you sit here and tell me that... How can you sit here... That this is all, like, these statistics are all 100% correct. No. And who the hell let you back on this campus? No, it's a public sidewalk. So nobody invited you here? Officers, if nobody invited him here, can we ask him to leave this campus? He needs to leave. Is this being handled? Oh my god, dude. You hear that? He ain't gonna fuck you, bro. Some fucking little dweeb in the crowd was like, Steven, you're a hero. Bro. He ain't gonna fuck you. You're a hero? Who the f said that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're so fing proud of it. Have you ever been raped? No. Then don't say f Then shut the f up. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had your house under threat uh, under threat for with a bomb threat? You've had the FBI at your house have to actually circle your house and have armed guards? So the point is, the point is, we all have individual experiences, but that does not... He's talking to her like she's a fucking kindergartner. He's such a fucking dickhead. ...not change the fact of the matter that we do not encourage a rape culture in the United States. Rape is a horrible crime. Here's, let's use break <laughs> Woo! Go, Steven! Good job. I was an example because you brought him up. Let me, this is really important. First off, what happened to you... I have no, I, I don't know the story. I don't want you to get into personal details if you're uncomfortable. Horrible, terrible. If that happened, I can't say that it has because I'm not allowed to. Oh yeah, of course, not, it probably I, hasn't. Well, so. no, legally I can't. That is rape culture, dude. If it was real, 
I can't save. You don't want to get in legal trouble with the person she accused of rape? That's not even how that works. <clears throat> but also, if that was the law, that's rape culture. <laughs> so there's no... <laughs> he made this fucking box and he's not even... Like, he's putting himself in a corner. He's so stupid. <laughs> Can't accuse a man of something if he has not been convicted of a crime. Yeah, people never say that about any other crime. Like, he acts as if the criminal justice system is perfect. What does he think? OJ's actually innocent? I'm, let's, I, I, I believe you, though. I believe you. I'm really well, you're sorry. You're such a good person. I'm really That's sorry that happened to you. Thank but a good you. example with Brett Kavanaugh. If Brett Kavanaugh did all of the things that he accused them of, for example, a triangle, gang rape, gang rape, if he raped people, cocked his head back and left, I say that, castrate him and give him life. But if it's not true... That's, what do you mean, dude? You can't just be like, castrate him. You don't actually think that, bitch. I feel probably worse for him than any man I can think of in recent memory. The only difference... This is perfect. This is perfect white people shit. Okay. He's saying the worst thing that can happen to a man is to be accused of rape. It's worse than the actual potential rape. Being accused of being a rapist is worse than being raped. That's what he's saying. White people love to act like being called a racist is more offensive than being racist. It's that same fucking gorilla brain line of logic that makes no fucking sense it's that same fucking brain cell that conservatives collectively share between the two is castrate the man versus empathy is the truth and i think with all of these arguments but with so all you're these just conversations, saying this you don't have the evidence seek, either we're trying to seek the truth I, I do have yeah but evidence. like we don't have the truth so how can you just say that that's a good question that's a good question. That would be awesome. But like, why is he allowed on our campus? I have to interrupt. Hold on. I gotta take a selfie. Is that Steven Crowder? <laughs> now, rape is really hard to prove. If this isn't even like an organized okay, event. No, I am not part of this event. Okay, so you're free to go anytime. You don't have to actually. Do yeah, I know, but if he's gonna sit here and say the rape culture is a myth, then somebody needs to sit here and say. Well, we're gonna deal with that, but but you're not helping the situation by adding to it. <laughs> oh, adding him. Like he's antagonizing students. Like for money, for content. Yeah, like there are examples of people that have been falsely accused of rape. They still have normal fucking lives. You don't know their names because they have normal fucking lives still. It's not a death sentence. Like, conservatives act like someone false being falsely accused of rape. If it comes out that they were falsely accused, like, they, like their life goes back to normal. <laughs> no, no, by adding to it, no. I added to rape culture I by getting raped. Whatever you need us to do. You're not mad. I understand. So if I called you and said somebody raped me, you wouldn't be mad? But that's well, not you what's just happening. twisted my words and I didn't say anything. Why is the cop debating her now, bro? Why is the cop debating her? Officer, we, 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 we want to work with you. Around. I did not. I did, I did not <laughs> say I didn't I've, have that. I've been okay. raped on your campus, yeah, sir. No, I, and I'm sorry for that. Did, did we get? Did we take care of you? No, sir. He's still no. walking around on this okay. campus. Well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some order here. And if you're not willing to have to be a part of this, then you're free to leave. Okay. No one else is gonna stand up. Bro. Cops are so fucking stupid. Like, the fact that he doesn't go, he needs to go to the fucking cameraman first. And be like, we can't have you filming. I gotta, like, disperse this. Is he trying to actually solve the problem or is he just trying to get her out of there? Is he trying, like, he's basically, if he is, he's taking Steven Crowder's fucking side. Which, like, we know that's what he's trying to do. 
but what's he trying to make it look like? Like, why is he participating in the content? Shoot the camera. <laughs> Break it. Step for it, then I'm going to stand up for it. Then you're okay staying here, because I just want to make sure he's not doing anything to you, harming you. No, I'm not. Off. Right. Correct. Oh, okay. So you, we... That's a great example of how rape culture works. This is art. This is beautiful. That was like a fucking metaphorical demonstration of rape culture. The woman makes an accusation. The guy's like, oh, you already got it taken care of, right? And then she's like, no. And then he kind of just like, is like, okay, but you're fine. And then walks away. Because the guy who's antagonizing her said, no, it's fine. Hello? Like, he was just instantly believed that, that he wasn't doing anything wrong. Because even though a woman accused him of doing something wrong. He's an actor. They're all actors. She's not an actor. There's no way. There's no way. We can continue the conversation if you like, or anyone else will move forward. I actually have class to get to, but okay. you know what? I hope you enjoy this, and I hope that you never f***ing get raped because it's horrible. I hope it goes and well. rape hope, culture and exists. He literally was like, I hope you as well. I hope you never get raped either. Too late, idiot. That's why he fucking stumbled over his words. You fucking dumbass. It's like you weren't even listening. <laughs> and you're telling me one in a thousand? I can tell you that's bullshit. One in 1900. Do you see? Do you see 1900 people standing here? I can. That's super disingenuous. You're on a college campus, dumbass. She's talking about the one in a thousand because you're on a college campus. I guarantee you, multiple people right here have been raped, and this is not 1900 people. So. How, okay, how can you guarantee that? And if anybody needs how can you guarantee that? That's insane. UPD because they've been raped? Good luck because they don't give a f They don't give a f Film it if you want, post it if you want. I introduced myself to this man, and this man is saying one in 1900? 1900? According to the FBI, yeah. According to the FBI, one in 1900 people have been raped. I can guarantee that I am not the only one standing here that's been raped. And we are not 1900. So thank you. And thank you. And I hope you get the hell off our campus. Watch Louder with Crowder live. She went nuts. College chick goes nuts. <clears throat> one in 1900 is still a lot. It is a lot. For fucking the whole country? That's a lot. Not enough for Steven Crowder, though. It's not enough. It, it doesn't matter. Nuts.